In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to utilize your butterfly device. Specifically, this one right here is gonna be the Butterfly IQ Plus. Now, first thing is we're gonna take our little lightning connector here and we're gonna plug it into our iPhone. Obviously, if you have an Android or a iPad with a USB-C, go ahead and use that one. Now notice here, the first thing is asking you, do you want to allow the butterfly to communicate with your iPhone? I'm definitely gonna say allow, because that's the whole point. You can see here that pretty quickly we are scanning. We're like ready to go, which is good. Now, let's say you don't wanna do MSK. See right there, it says MSK. We can go to presets and we can change it to whatever preset that we feel like looking at. So let's say we on cardiac, we select there. It'll completely change that sector. Here's a little tutorial for you just in case. And we are gonna go back to soft tissue because we're just gonna look at my forearm here to demonstrate the machine capabilities. All right, let's get a little bit of ultrasound jelly. We're gonna put it on the probe right there. It's good. And then I'm going to image just my arm right here. This is great. So let me show you how to do some machine operations. I'm gonna tilt this up here to the top of the screen so I can actually scan and do some differences with the machine. So let's say that it's a little bit too bright. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe to the right. That's gonna increase the gain. Oh, we're a little over gained already. So I'm gonna swipe this way and bring it down to, let's just put it, I don't know, just right at 50%. Now, if I just wanna look at the more superficial structures, I would just swipe down, that'll change our depth. We can go pretty superficial here. And then if I'm too superficial, I'll just swipe this way and change the depth. If I want to record a clip, I'm going to hit that record button and it'll record as long as this thing is going down there at the bottom. Notice it's a, a bit of a loop. I have it set to quite a long loop. I think I have it set to like, I don't know, 60 seconds or something like that because that's how I roll. If you're done with your exam and you don't want just like a black screen for the remainder of this dot, just go ahead and hit that stop button. And then we have a recording. You'll see it's right up there. Now, if we want to do a still with, let's say a measurement, let's say I want to measure, I don't know for why I would do this, but let's say I want to measure the width of my median nerve, which is right there. I'm going to hit freeze. Boom, so I'm frozen, I can put the transducer down. I can hit this button right here, which is the measure tool, hit lines. I'm going to cut in here because I realized I went through that last section a little bit fast. So this right here, this is the measurement and line tool. You're gonna hit that and a little menu is gonna pop up. After that, then you're gonna hit the actual line tool and that is what's gonna give you the measurement. Okay, let's go through that again. So I'm frozen, I can put the transducer down. I can hit this button right here, which is the measure tool, hit lines and go right here. And if I want another one, I can just hit this again, do another one, let's measure the width here. Bingo, I notice that I'm, I'm holding at those dots right there and the dot and the cross here are in like two different spots and that's by design. And let's say just in case someone doesn't know what I'm looking at, I can label it as median nerve. Done. I can say this is a median nerve. I want it right there. And that indicates that that is in fact the median nerve. And if I want to save it, I'm going to hit this button right here. Boom, it's saved. And if I want to review those scans, I'm going to hit here. You can put patient details, you can put all this stuff in, fill this out if you want to, you can put your notes. But if I want to review them, you can just click here and then you're reviewing. And you can tap on the screen, hit pause, you can move it forward, move it back, you can do everything that you wanna do. And let's say, you know what, this was dumb. Why did I measure the median nerve? You can go ahead and edit, hit that, boom, delete and delete it. Or you can make it a different thing by hitting save for later. We'll save it for later. And that's in a different exam now. So let's say I'm just gonna put my name here Okay, so that's that. And I'm gonna go ahead and save study. Let's go ahead and just save it as draft here. Confirm. And then, oh, and then remember this one right here where we said we didn't want that, we wanna save it for later. It just showed up. And now it's just that right there. So we can make this a separate study by putting my name here, name here. And now it's two different studies. We'll save it as draft. And then now we're all good to go. If we want to get rid of this, just hit the unsave button or the unfreeze button. Let's X that out. We don't want that there. And then we are ready to go. And that is how you do basic machine operation using that butterfly device.